Anakin and people like that could start really attending tournaments and winning all of them, their names are going to be just as solid as the three I just named uh, very, very soon. Oh, we got a losers round two? Let's go. These are the matches I love to commentate because you see goofy stuff like Corrin versus Bowser. Yeah, like who plays Corrin at the top level? Dude, I've, I have not seen a Corrin in bracket since probably uh, New Game Plus. <laughs> so Honestly, yeah. whenever I see this character in bracket, I always feel like I haven't seen this character since Smash 4. They got a, a buff in this game, I believe around the time Joker came out, and there was some hype for the character... A, a, a little bit of hype for the character uh, for, for a short while, and it sort of died out. Um, this is a sortie from the Fire Emblem game, so you, they, you probably bet that they excel at juggling. And yeah, Corrin is a pretty decent juggler. Down tilt, a pretty good combo starter for the character. Um, but just in general, doesn't really have the same kind of solid frame data or uh, kill combos that other sorties have that make them more viable. And then you have probably... Oh, that was sick! Wow, oh into the God. the dragon pin as well, and the up smash that will catch the platform. <laughs> Yo, the big body and Bowser it just comes up raring with a, a bear. Probably the best heavy in the game. I would. Uh, yeah, I I I would say. Yeah. I can't think of anyone. Yeah, else I, I would say DK is like very close. I think DK is actually bottom. <laughs> I, I, think I can I can so see bad. why you would think that. But yeah, no, th th I do agree that heavies are sort of like that category where it's like, it depends on the player, and mm -hmm. it depends on how well you know the matchup. We don't have a whole lot of Bowser name states in Chicago, so people not, might not really know Bowser that well. Like, I, I know Pack Diesel plays him a bit. Uh, Jigs, I think is his name, plays him pretty predominantly. But you want to talk about matchups not a whole lot of people know, uh, you really don't have a lot of Corrin. Oh, the Ooh. Dragon Fang catching him. Yeah, that. The classic. Uh, the projectile Double from uh, Corrin. Dragon Fang is, is a very weird move. Charge it up. Um, of course, the more you charge, the more powerful it gets, the longer it stuns you, like a la Zero Suit Samus. Um, but it, that Dragon Fang sort of on the end of when the projectile comes out, very strong. You have to watch out if you're getting too close to Corrin. Oh, yeah, that move is terrifying in Smash 4 and still terrifying in this game. Mm -hmm. Okay, double grab on the ledge. Doesn't get hit, though. Dandy looks like he's about to take this stock. Yep. yep. Clear as day. One of uh, Bowser's biggest kill options is that command grab and going onto the platform and just body slamming their opponent. I don't think I've seen someone cancel that that fast. He tried to, like, hit him with the... I don't know, is that down B or side B where it's the arm sticks in the ground? Oh, that, that one? Yeah. yeah the dragon pin, dragon yeah. pin side B. So one thing about dragon pin side B also is from Smash uh, 4, obviously that move had a lot more range. Oh, yeah, for Re sure. Really, really downgraded in this game. A lot of people who don't play Corrin don't know that you don't have to do that, the, the sort of like choose a direction to, in order to cancel it. Mm -hmm. You can just press down and you immediately get off the pin. It throws people off who don't no Corrin because they th some people genuinely think like they have to choose a direction once yeah. they do that because nobody plays this character in Chicago but what I like to do a lot of the times is just like dragon pin get down and throw out a smash tag because they're mm -hmm. expecting me to go in a direction and all of a sudden I'm still there in your face um, and they have to punish it um, that was a good job from Foxtrot though yeah for sure uh, did a good job Saris's talk sign language you don't have to I turn off the, don't, don't turn off the audio Oh, I got to play doubles? All right, no? All right, bet, 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 bet. All right, have fun. All right, shout out to Foxtrot. I see the assassination classroom mess. <laughs> see you later, Matata. Peace out. Um, I think we're getting Tri-Point's very own. Sarah's on the mic now with me. Um, oh, we saw a character. What is it? Oh, no, it's still Corrin. Okay, for a second, I, I, I saw Inklings of Lucina in my eyes. But no, this is still still a Corrin. And now uh, the Game & Watch switch from uh, Bowser to uh, yeah. Game & Watch. I'm actually really surprised that he's pulling out a game watch. I didn't even know he had this. Uh, I don't either. I didn't either. I, I do like the switch, though. I'm talking about before how Corrin, any sortie in the game, especially finding him a character, very solid juggling. Bowser being a very good heavy, but also just still a big bodied heavy. Right. Uh, gives you a lot of room to punish. Game and Watch is made out of paper, actual paper, yeah. very small. Um, not nearly as easy to juggle, but a lot lighter. So yeah, so you're going to die that. pretty early if you get hit. Um, Wait, what? Okay, we're going back to ledge. Got it. You need to watch out, though. Right. Uh, 
Foxtrot has been playing a very close up gameplay in general so far. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. that was a good call out. That's a really strong move from Game & Watch too. That key has a very uh, distinctive, very tricky hit hurt box to it. Yeah, to where it's like really disjointed. And exactly. normally you don't see it contested like that. Mm -hmm. So just like the awareness to know that you can go for that right there, yeah, props to Foxtrot. Right now, Bandy just trying to find the kill. One thing that Game & Watch excels at doing is uh, being a generally frustrating character to fight, but right. sometimes it can be hard to find the kill move because um, if you're playing a much more range game and not falling for falling into Game & Watch, literally, it's hard to sometimes actually take a stock. Right. That's an option, though. Yeah. So, yeah, I do have to agree with you, though, because typically, if you don't fall into what Game & Watch does, he has trouble killing you because everything is, like, really stubby. So if you don't give him that leeway to get in on you or if you don't have to approach him all the way, it can be difficult. So it's odd kind of to see this be a counter pick. It's not going bad yet, but if he doesn't even up the percentage and if he gets a stock taken before he does a lot of damage, then it's going to be a problem. Yeah, I, I will say that Foxtrot, the kind of gameplay he's been going with has been a lot more close combat than I think Korn needs to be. Right. But Korn has a lot of range. Basically, everything she throws out, especially that forward smash, uh, very just a very pokey character. Yeah. Uh, very... That's no, a lot of moves to throw. <laughs> they throw far away, and they can just hit you from out of nowhere. Remember when that used to be the longest hitbox in the game? Yeah, remember when Side B carried you across the stage? <laughs> I sure do. Oh, oh okay. Dragon Pin! That's an insta pin. Skewering my man off the ledge right there. That's another option. Very solid. All right, so a lot of the times when you get hit by the Game Watch upbeat, it's really frustrating, right? But it's damage. It's not going to kill you. It's no. just going to annoy the hell out of you, and you're going to take some percent for it. Yeah. That, on the other hand, you got to watch yourself. Yeah, that dragon thing has actually been a big problem for Dandy. Uh, last game, too, when he was playing as Bowser. Um, and like I said, it's just something that Corrin can throw out that's very far away from her body that you need to make sure you're spacing yeah. correctly. Ooh, oh. very good back here. That's yeah. a quick 2-0. Yeah, it was. Uh, Foxtrot did a really solid job of just playing a very good, very sound, fundamental Corrin. Yeah. Which is fun to see. I really